Sure. Hey, uh, to, to both guys, um, you don't have full pads on yet, but it just seems to me the intensity is pretty high in this camp. What, what, what would you say to that? Yeah. Okay, so uh, with the high intensity, I feel like that's going to prepare us for the season, the upcoming season. And, you know, Coach Pittman always wants high intensity, so I feel like that's just something we do automatically. So there's really nothing to – change differently about that just because we don't have them on full pads and just like shells i only see there's any difference with that okay and then rocket yeah you're you're getting some first team reps just your thoughts about um you know stepping in there and uh what, what you're seeing uh definitely seeing with uh becoming a one um just seeing different holes and um just really seeing it like from last year playing uh from the second and third string um it, it actually helped me to, to become a, a one and see better things. So be, being a one is, uh, I feel like, a big role. Um, I feel like just that right there making me want to be a, a, a leader, just not just not just for the running back uh, room, but everybody else as well. Yeah, and that shot you took from Jaden Johnson the week before the spring drills, I mean, that looked that was a little unexpected. What, what happened there? I, I ain't going to say too much, but um, just I had stopped and uh, it just helmet to helmet, but I'm good. All right, thanks. Right. Yeah, Rocket, I was curious about uh, some of these young backs, Joyner and DeBinion. What are, what are you seeing out of those guys? Uh, I definitely say they they good. Um, they came in a room and they was ready to learn. Definitely uh, James, both of them, definitely. But uh, James, he uh, coming out as a back, and I'm a big back as well. Um, key thing with him is uh, me telling him to, to – uh, Finish runs. This it go for all the running backs, but definitely him. Uh, finish runs because he's a, he's a big running back and um, always staying low. And I'll just let him know that it's it's the same thing as high school, but just a bigger level. Um, you're playing against people with the same talent as you. So when it comes down to it, just make sure you finish runs because that's going to execute in the game. And what about AJ also? What what has he done this all season? Uh, uh, with AJ, uh, man, I just I just like everything he do. Um, his hustle, um, just on and off the field with him, it just he just make me make me want to go hard. That's that's what the workouts and the practice. He don't say nothing. He just keeps going on. And I feel like having somebody by your side that's working hard make you want to do things as well. So he's doing good as well. Zach, I remember last spring you made or heading into the spring, you made a big emphasis on getting bigger, adding some bulk and stuff. Just curious what your weight is right now and, and what has been your emphasis this past off season. Yeah, so currently I'm um, 255. I lost almost like 20 pounds during the season, so I had to gain that back. But I only need to gain like an extra 10. And my emphasis this season is just, you know, just build on a little bit more technique, um, you know, just come off, the, come off the ball, high intensity, stuff like that. Just keep working on the stuff I'm already doing, but just do it a little bit better. So, yeah, I feel like I'm going, for, I'm going pretty good. We're going to be, we're gonna be all right by the time the season comes in. Thanks, guys. All right, let me know if you've got questions. Hutch? Zach, I think Coach Pittman has talked about wanting to bring more pressure uh, defensively. It seems like y'all have been getting after the quarterback so far this spring. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on, on that aspect of the defense, how that's coming along. Yeah, pass rushing-wise, I feel like we've gotten a lot better. Um, you know, from all the different coaches we had, we learned different techniques and stuff like that. You know, Coach D. Adams, he brings us some, like something new to the table. And I feel like he really knows what he's talking about, like with different aspects of how to rush, not just like you can switch your stuff up. You just need three different moves to rush. And he, he teaches us that. So, you know, I feel like he's brought us together more as a team, like as a defensive line. And he's just helping us with our pass rush and stuff like that. So I feel like that's the reason why I got a lot better. And Rocket, uh, how is uh, Jaden Hazelwood kind of fitting in with the team? I know he's a different position, but I mean, just curious how he's fitting in with the offense. Uh, actually, he's doing good, man. Um, coming from a different team, I know uh, just the plays and stuff like that can be a little tricky, um, but I definitely say he, he fit in with us. I feel like he bring that intensity as well um, during stretching to working out and to on the field, so I feel like he fit in good with us. He's going to have a good year, I feel like, yep. Yeah. Nate? Yeah, Zach, just as far as having a whole week off or spring break, how kind of tough was it to get back in? Or what did you feel you kind of hit the ground running today? Yeah, I've had a few spring balls, so I kind of expected, like, you know, the first practice is probably going to be a little bit hard or whatever, but it really wasn't, you know, that much. Of course, you're like a little tired, more tired than you usually are, but I feel like 
everybody was there. It was a lot of clashing today. People were, you know, we, we were into it. So I feel like just because of that week break, it didn't really change anything with us. I think it actually just gave us more energy and made us go harder. So. And what about going going full pads Thursday, I guess for both of you, what do you all you know, expect out of that? And are you looking forward to it? Uh, definitely, uh, like Coach Coach Pitt say, um, we want high intensity. So just going to that next drill, um, that next drill just a little bit faster uh, during practice. I feel like it's going to be a good Thursday. Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, it's not going to. There's not really going to be any difference except, you know, we're going to have pants on, but that's just how it's going to be because we always go hard. So. Yeah. And finally, oh, excuse me, finally rocket since you know it's coming. What do you think of uh, Malik or Hornsby working out some receiver? Oh, uh, actually, good man. Getting getting him in there uh, for his speed, man. I feel like he's a good quarterback, but I feel like any you put him at any position, um, I feel like he executed just by his speed and um, just just his IQ of the game. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, hey Zach, I can't remember the order y'all did it last spring, but you did some three man fronts and then you kind of switched in the middle and four man. But I don't remember. Is that is that the plan this time around? Um, I think so. They said that next week we're gonna work more on four down. We're still doing more three down stuff. Uh, you know, like that's gonna be our base, of course. But yeah, I think it's probably gonna be the same way as it was last year with the three down and four down and three down again in the spring ball. Yeah, and I, we've kind of gone through this with you before, but you feel more of a veteran leader now in your position right now. Yeah, I do. I've gained some experience over the few years and, you know, there's always something to teach the younger people. Of course, you have some yourself to learn, but I, it's something different passing it on to younger people. I feel like that's something good. I feel like I'm a bit of a veteran. You know, yeah, so. and who have you seen on the front, new guys, transfers or whatever that you, you know, Sam's talked to us about Cam Ball looking a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Cam Ball, he's really stepped up. Um, I knew he had it in him. It just really surprised me how fast, like he just turned the switch. So I feel like he's going to be a he's going to be a big help this year because he's really doing his thing. He's doing a good job. And I'm wondering if y'all could both say what did Coach Pittman say after practice? Because a lot of times it's real rusty that first day. Did did he like the tempo of today? Yeah, he he actually liked the tempo, but he always say with that first practice was a little bit of rusty of just getting to that next next drill. So I feel like that coming coming Thursday with this full pad, just getting to the next drill faster than everybody know where they, where they they need to go at that time. Yeah, he emphasizes transition a lot. Gotcha. Rocky, you think you'll be ready for the first scrimmage? Yeah, I'll be I'll be ready. I'll be good. Yep, I'll be ready. Okay, thank y'all. All righty. Thank y'all. Thanks, fellas. We got uh, AJ and Korea.